Uncertainty about their jobs, taking the happy out of the holidays for hundreds of Chicago crossing guards. They say their status has been in limbo for months and many still don't know when or if they'll ever go back to work. All because of some city hall maneuvering. Here's CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov. It's been almost a month since I first reported on the uncertain job status of Chicago's 850 or so crossing guards, and they are still in limbo, not knowing for sure what is going to happen over the next few weeks. And now with the holidays approaching and some schools reopening in about a month, they really want answers. Hurtful. It's sad. Crossing guards like Yolanda no, Christmas say they feel, feel like, like pieces in a city budget just, chess game. They use us as pawns. They just switch us around, switch us around. This 20-year veteran doesn't want to be identified for fear of retaliation, but she's talking about the confusion about their jobs now that the crossing guard unit has been transferred from the Office of Emergency Management to Chicago Public Schools. OEMC's director sent this letter to guards in October telling them about the switch, stating no positions would be lost, but providing few specifics. These guards say they still don't have any. It's exhaustive for a whole lot of crossing guards. Are you frustrated? Yeah. Very frustrated. The transfer of the $14 million crossing guard unit takes that expense off the city's books and puts it on CPS's ledger. I asked Mayor Lori Lightfoot Thursday if some guards would have to reapply for their jobs, as some say they've been told. I don't know where that rumor is coming from, but that's just absolutely not, not, not correct. And I've personally been um, involved in, in, that, um, in those discussions with the union, so that's not correct. 24 hours later, crossing guards got this letter from their union, the SEIU, telling them they're still awaiting answers. An SEIU official tells me all should keep their jobs, but specifics are still lacking. We're on pins and needles pretty much. A CPS spokesperson this afternoon echoed what the SEIU's letter stated, that they will be getting some definitive answers soon. And he tells me that the guards will not have to reapply for their jobs, but they will have to go through a background check and other things that CPS requires for all employees. But these guards are still waiting. In Peterson Park, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.